Hey, this is Nate. Just wanted to give you some pointers for when you get your website up and running. So I did pull up one of the local guys there in Maine just to kind of give you some examples. So looking down through their site, the overall layout of their site looks good. But as you can see, they don't have a lot of content. It's pretty common. I'd say 95% of the sites I look at are short on content. With Google, content is king. We recommend about 1,000 to 1,500 words on this homepage and about 500 to 750 words on your back service pages. You want to get those keywords and keyword phrases that people are typing into Google organically into the content on your page. It's not the only way to be found for a particular keyword, but it is one of the easiest and fastest ways for Google to recognize those keywords and know that your site is relevant to what people are looking for. So I did put them into one of our SEO tools. Um, your title tag and your H1 tag are super important to Google. These guys don't even have their H1 set up, but I will show you kind of where it generally is and give you some ideas on what it should say. But their title tag is just main Power Wash Pros, which is their, which is their company name. Um, I would do something probably like main pressure washing dash main power wash pros that way they're getting the pressure washing keyword and the power washing keyword in their title tag they've got up to 70 characters they're only using 20 so you know they could do main pressure washing dash roof washing dash main power wash pros you know you do want to get the company name in that title tag for branding purposes your h1 tag generally when i build out sites I realize that Maine is not that big, but I'm in Texas, so like we don't have anybody here that's going to cover the entire state. It's too freaking big. But um, I like to set up city pages and focus those pages on that specific area so we can rank in all those different areas. You know, say somebody, I used Portland as my example, but you know, say somebody types in Portland ME pressure washing. You know, we want to have a page about Portland so that we show up at the top in Portland. You know, so there, I know there's lots of other cities we could do, you know, and with that, every new city page you add, you're adding more content to your site overall. So it just makes the site bigger. You know, Google gives it more power and more authority, you know, multiple keywords for different cities. You know, it all kind of works out in the end. But um, the H1 tag is the only one that's actually on the site, and it's generally right up here at the in the top somewhere or maybe this first headline right here and like I said I would you know I would focus on main maybe on your home page and then build out city pages you know for the different cities that you want to target but I did type in um, Portland ME pressure washing here you know these guys did show up second right under home advisor realistically Google loves local companies so if you get the site up and running right it's not terribly hard to beat out some of these directories but just to give you some examples you know this right here is that meta description which is right here this is their meta description um, but you can see that there's words that are bolded in all of these meta descriptions for all of these different sites Google does that on their own they're not typed into the site that way and it's not even on the site actually it's back kind of it's something you do on the back end of the site to tell Google what you want your meta description to say but these bolded words Google does that to tell me they're relevant to what I typed in here you know just make them stand out to say yes these sites are all talking about things relevant to what I searched the blue line here is their title tag and you'll see probably 90 percent of these title tags they're all going to say something about power washing or pressure washing and Portland because Portland is what I was checking out so and you know because Maine is in there that's part of why these guys are showing up and like I said it's about 90 percent but you know power washing Portland Maine power wash pressure washers in Portland pressure washing Portland you know this one's got New England in there um, power washing this probably says South Maine because they're talking about Maine but you can see that you know all of these guys talk about where they are and what they do in that title tag. So it kind of shows the importance of making sure that's set up right. So I hope that helps you out. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. I will talk to you later. Thank you.